What is up you guys, my name is RVZ and welcome back to Subnautica. Now I'm just making some water because I'm thirsty as fuck and some food as well. So now wait, we had a message, didn't we? Oh yeah, we do have a message, hold on. This is Avery Quinn of Trading Ship Sunbeam. Aurora, do you read? Over. Okay. Still nothing. These old Terra ships. They run out of engine grease. They send an SOS. You offer to help? They don't pick up. Aurora, I'm out on the far side of the system. It's going to take more than a week to reach your position. Do you still need our assistance? Over. I'll try them again tomorrow. See what the long-range scan picks up in the meantime? Damn charter's gonna have us wasting our profit margin running errands for Altera. My fucking... Okay, so I cannot communicate with them, but... There is, there's actually people out there that are coming for me. Well, they're not coming right now. But... At least they might come. But how the hell do I communicate with them? Okay, so our next objective is actually to get a mobile vehicle bay and we need some materials for that. We're actually close to life pot 17, let's go there. Well, they actually might be in too deep, I can't get there. Or can I? Oh, it's right there, okay. Okay, let's go in there really quick, see what we can get. Okay, life pod, what is... is there an entrance? Okay, there's an entrance right here. There's the PDA and that's it. There's nothing else. There's nothing I can do. But oh, there's a Seamoth fragment. Hold up, this is nice. Oxygen. There actually might be more around. I need to check that. Oh no, man, the noises that big guy makes. Holy shit. Okay, so let's go back down and see if we can get um, more parts for the seam off. Man, that's way too deep in there. I really can't can't see anything. It's way too dark as well. Let's see what the guy said in the life pod. Okay, so life pod made planet fall intact approximately approximately one hour ago. Environmental instructions were knocked offline. When the Aurora Seamoth Bay collapsed around me. Okay, so that's what we actually got. I'm going to go out there and scavenge whatever I can find, see if we can reinforce the life pot hull. Okay, so the guy actually went out, but I don't think he came back. Is there nothing there? He might have died. Oh man. So I don't think there's anything else here. Oh man, that's a big hole. I can't... Holy shit, I can't go there. It's way too deep, I'm gonna die of crush. Of the, pre of the pressure. <laughs> and then if... Oh, what is this? Seamoth fragment, nice, I need that. Okay, we need one more. Well, this is it, I, I think. Yep, yep, this is it. What the fuck? What the hell attacked me? What the fuck? Now we need titanium, we got that. We need a power cell, two glass, and lubricant. Okay. Let's get back to the base. To the pod, and we're gonna build that. Oh, we got another message. Why is this bugged? What the hell? Hold up. Aha, uh -huh, there we go. Let's see. Aurora, this is Sunbeam again. We just picked up a massive debris field at your location. I didn't know how bad. Uh, how many of... I didn't know. Okay. We're now so... en route to your location. We're gonna bring you home. Sunbeam out. What else can I say? We're a six-seater, 
and we aren't even slightly equipped to handle this? Our pilot last attempt at a planet landing in the Academy simulator? Oh, it's a bad situation, but so are all the alternatives. Okay, so now they actually saw that there is a massive big fucking wreck over there. I don't know how, but uh, they realized that this is actually bad. And apparently they are coming to rescue me. Okay. Oh, this was this is the one I need. Oxygen. And with that, we can now start making a base, I believe. Habitat Builder. Nice. Okay, life at 6, high priority. Uh, coordinates attached, we've landed 1 kilometer from the crash shell. Okay. They only got one radiation suit. They, are they need assistance, okay. Problem is, I don't have battery on my on my sea glide, so I can't really get there. Okay, so I'm gonna run out of power in the sea glide pretty soon. I need to find a way to recharge it, and we hit zero. It's still going though. Okay, so <laughs> we are now out of power on the sea mo on the sea glide. Um. This is bad because it was the only source of light that I had. Okay, we probably should make a a flashlight because it gets way too dark in the night. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. Cut ourselves a flashlight, let's take a look. Ah yeah. This is power as well, okay. Okay, so we got a bunch of materials, maybe now we can craft the the seam off. Okay, so we get another battery. Now we can get the power cell. And mobile vehicle bay, finally. Like this took a long time just to farm all those materials. The cover is pretty rare to get. Okay, so we got that. Now let's go out, just like that. Nice, okay. Lime, okay. Use vehicles, same off, okay. We need another power cell, glass, and lubricant, I think. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we have all those materials. Hold up. Okay, so now we got all the materials. Congratulations, Survivor. Swimming is my favorite activity. Uh, well, uh, all right. I think that's the message from the the lifeboat. The sun is setting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give me a second. Let's just make the seam off. Uh, pretty, pretty cool animation. Alright, so that's the same off right there. Welcome Let's see. Captain. Sweet. So this can go down to 200 meters. So we can probably explore that big hole that was near LifePod 17. That should be fun to do. It might be closer to the Aurora. Ah, uh, yeah, there it is. Okay, I want to build this on the other side. Maybe actually, yeah, close to the life pod 17. Well, not that close. Yeah, I think I'm gonna build it here. Okay, so now that I found my, I found my place. Yep, right there. I'm gonna build up the foundation. Can I go a bit lower? No. Okay, whatever. It's gonna be there. I need a seam off to actually give me some light. Let's see what I'm doing. It's gonna stay here. Okay, we got our base foundation. Now we actually need to build the the corridors. Oh, let's go with this normal one. 
Holy shit, there's a fucking stalker here. Holy. Could you please go away? I'm just trying to... I'm oh my fucking god. <laughs> okay, uh, I'm just trying to build my habitat. And that guy goes, no, no. No habitat for you. Okay, so we got one hatch there. And another one here. Okay, so our little base... Well, it is a little base. It's pretty much done, I guess. Now let's look inside and see how it looks Warning. like. Emergency power only. Oxygen oh, production offline. No power? Uh, okay, so now we can get some solar panels. Uh, well, we're gonna place them here. And maybe another one at the other side. Oh, I heard that. It now has it now has power. Does it have breathable hair though? Welcome aboard, Captain. Aha, uh -huh, it does. Sweet. Okay, so that's the basics, I guess. Uh, it looks pretty good. It's a, a small little base, but looks decent enough. I hope in the next episode we can actually improve it and probably get ditch that pod right there because I'm sick of going back to it. Then we can just use our base and of course the seamoth. This is gonna be pretty useful. What is this? Why is there a, a lever here? What the hell? Well, that's weird. But anyway, guys, I'm gonna leave this episode here. If you liked it, uh, hit that like button. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. And I'll see you guys in the next video. See ya!